So my name's Russell Casabal. That was cool. I'm a three-time Guinness World Record holder for walking on Lego bricks barefoot. Is that because of a, uh, a stepping on Legos incident? Yeah, so. Oh, and I was the, just joking. No, the third leg, the third world record, I tore a tendon in my foot. The second time I found my purpose in life and I started Little Bricks Charity. We're a nonprofit that donates Lego to children's hospitals all across the US and Canada. Yeah. How did you uh, find your purpose was uh, walking on Lego? Was that an accident? Yeah, it's a complete series of unfortunate events that became fortunate. Lego is hands down the best toy that you can give to a child in the hospital. Once I found that out, I was like, we have to do this. I sold my entire Lego collection. I started Little Bricks Charity. We became a 501c3. About six months ago, uh, that was um, almost three years ago. Six months ago, I really felt it in my heart that this is what I was meant to do. So I quit my job, I cashed in my 401k, and right now I'm traveling the nation delivering $41,000 worth of Lego to 13 children's hospitals. Wow. We're here at Philly Breakfast raising money for our trip. We're trying to go from $41,000 to $50,000 worth of Lego. And so we're selling books, autographed copies, we're doing raffles, we're just having a lot of fun. It looks fun. It is a lot. You look like a fun guy too. <laughs> Before TikTok, we would drop Lego sets off at the hospital and that was it. Now we get to interact with them. We get to see them play with the Lego. We get to see what they're going through on a day-to-day -day basis. I've made it my personal mission to help share the stories of these amazing kids and these amazing families. Through the help of TikTok, we have raised countless amount of money for all of these different children. We have helped spread awareness for so many different diseases. I rock a mohawk for an amazing young girl named Tessa that passed away unfortunately about a year and a half ago. And she really just caused my heart to open up. Since then, I dye my mohawk a different color every single month. We raise awareness for a different childhood disease. Right now it's pink for this amazing girl named Jocelyn who just lost her life six days ago. Um, it's a really tough side of what I do, but it reiterates the fact that life is short, days are precious. Your value isn't how long you've been on earth, it's how many people you've touched. Thanks, that's, that's a great cause. I hope everyone comes by and, and donates to you. It was a great story. Uh, I appreciate it, brother. Thank you, John. I believe in you. Have an epic day. <laughs> Thanks, guys.